This is a tower bar that I would like to install in my uh, remodeling bathroom. And as you can see, it's a 24 inch tower bar from Delta. And that's the way it's look here. And what I want to show you the process how to install this kind of tower bar in your bathroom. Okay, I opened the package and what I get here is two posts, one and two. I have the bar here which is 24 inch. In addition to it, you have here a bracket, you don't see it here with two screws. Okay, that is the bracket coming with two screws and this is my two screws because if you're going to have a stud, you don't need to use these screws, I'll show you why. You will have to use a normal screws for the sheet rock. Okay, so that's actually what you have in the package. In addition to it, you have uh, this kind of paper, actually a document. But this document has an instruction how to do it. But there is another part of this document here that you have to actually cut with a scissors. And this will actually help you to put the screws or the hole for the screws where it's needed. So you can see here there are two screws that you can put two holes here and here there is another two holes. That's for the 24, there are four, let's say 10, a 10 inch or 12 inch, 12 inch and actually from here to here is 24 inch. So what I need is 24 inch. So I'm going actually to get help from this paper. I will cut it and put it on the wall and uh, we'll make the all quickly and then we will install the bracket and then we will install the bar. So now what I'm doing, I'm actually cutting the paper that I would like really to put on the wall to make the hole, so that's what I want to do now. Okay, that's what I need. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to find the stud. Okay, so we found the stud and the stud is here. Okay, so I have another tool that so just make proof that this is the stud. I have the stud body and this is actually a magnet that uh, will be uh, stick to the wall when you find the screw. So I want to show you we want to just make proof that that is the start before we're going to actually make our holes. Okay, so as you can see here, the start is here because the start body is actually stick to the wall. So as a result, we have here definitely a screw or metal and that's definitely the stud so we can actually start to make the holes okay so what I'm doing now you see I found here here is the stud so I'm just making with a pencil a line where is the stud you can see there is a line here where is the stud so we put the paper here or this piece of paper here on the wall and you can see from going here, you can see this line, these holes actually going with the stud here. That is the stud, the mark where is the stud here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just mark here a line. Okay. And what I want to do, I really want to actually put the bracket here. So here I'm going to make the two screws here. And these two screws going to the stud. Here, I don't have a stud. So here I will have to use the special screws that come with the bracket. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm actually putting the lever on the line I did. Okay, here is the lever. I'm holding the lever firm, the lever, and I just make a line here. Red line. You see here, at this point, it's exactly level. I remove it here. And I get this line, which is 
horizontal, perfectly horizontal. Okay, I put the, the paper, this paper that show me where are the holes, as you can see here, two holes. Exactly where is the line here, the hole is here, you can see it continue here. And it's sticking exactly where is the horizontal line here. So what I want to do now, I want to actually go and actually stick it with a, a blue tape, which is a painting tape. Here is the other place you can see here. Here I don't have a stud, so we just that's going to be the second place because it's 24 inch. So now what I want to do, I want to actually take the tape and put it there. So here is the paper that I actually stick to the wall here. And as you can see, here is the mark for the stud. Okay, here are the two holes that I have to do. And if you got 24 inch exactly here, here are the other, the other two um, holes that I have to do. And here is the vertical line. You can see here, it's followed the vertical line that I did like uh, one minute ago. So you can see it's exactly as it should. So now I actually go and make the hole as needed. Okay, before I'm going to drill the hole, I just want to verify that the bar is actually going 24 inch from here to here. As then you can see here, it's exactly going between this point, this, these two holes from here to here. So I just verify before making any holes. Because here I have a stud, so I don't really need to drill a hole. I just need to take a screw and just verify the stud there. As you can see, it is a stud there. I it. I'm going to take the bracket here, and in the bracket, you can see here there is a sign say HAP. Okay, so that sign should be up. Okay, and that's the way it's going to face the wall. Okay, here it's going to be like that. I'm just going to put the screw here and starting to drill the red pin. So that's one, and the second one, that's the second one, correct? Okay, now the problem, I have the paper, so I have to remove the paper. So let me remove the paper first. Okay, remove the paper. Remember, we have the holes already. Okay, so we have the holes, we can take this paper and just remove it. And what we have here, we have the holes, as you can see here. We have these two holes. Okay, so now we can actually put it back, put the bracket back to his position with these two screws. And just attach it to the stud. That's it. So we have here a perfect attachment of the bracket. So this is the post, okay? And if you can see in the post, you have here two kind of uh, holes here, or ender or whatever. It's a space, actually two spaces here, that it will grab this one here, and we snap inside of the push it. If we snap here, where is the spring here? So I'm taking it and I just tie again. That's it. it. Should be in. That's it. Okay. After I actually installed the post, and I think I installed too fast. I will show you how I installed the other one. I put in this bar just to verify everything is good. Because remember, I want to actually drill here. So I want to see if I'm actually okay with it because everything you have to underline before you're doing it. And you can see it's exactly on the center, so I don't have any problem 
I'm going to put it here. That's going to be perfect. And I'm going to be a perfect bar, the shallow. Okay, here we don't have a stud. I know we don't have a stud here, okay? So what we have to do, we have to actually have, using this bit, it's a quarter of an inch, to drill two holes, one and one here, okay? And then to use a special screw to put it in. So that's what I want to show you next. Okay, so now what I'm doing here, you can see it's a quarter of an inch, a bit. Take the bit out, here is it. I'm going to actually make holes here. Okay, so I have to make two holes here, this one hole. Already done. And that is the second hole. And that's the two holes we need. That's it. So this screw comes with a screw here and an anchor here. And we have to take the anchor and put it in the wall. Okay, and then with a the hammer, using a hammer, we have to push it in. So you can see the anchor is already in flash with the wall. Now we have the two anchors inside the wall and we're going to now attach the bracket to these two screws. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. Remember there is a hub here, reading a hub. Okay, and we have to put it here, attach it here to the wall with these two screws. Okay, these two screws will go open and will open the anchor. That will actually stay there forever. Unless somebody start breaking it or something. But I expect it to last for many, many years. Remember that the spring should be down. So you want to make sure it's actually in perfectly. Okay, so what I'm saying is when you actually drill, it has to be at least 50 turns. Remember, until it quite becomes stronger. Okay, so you can feel it, you cannot move. So if you use screwdriver, you have to make 50, 50 turns. If you use uh, a drill like I'm using it, you have to drill until you can see it's really difficult to continue moving it because it won't move, it's already locked. So if you look here, you can see what happened here. This is the screw. When you actually you actually turn the screw here, it's actually opened the anchor, and the anchor actually holds the wall. And that's why this one, after you put it, cannot really move. No matter what you're going to do, it will not move. At least you break the sheet rock wall here. Putting the bar here. And now I really want you to see what I'm doing. If you come in close, you can see I'm actually putting the post here, okay, and then you can see that area where is the spring here, you have to come under the spring, okay, I put here and I press it up, up until it's locked, and that's it, it's locked. And that's all the work is done. So that's the way it looks if you look at it from here. Quite nice. Here I struggle a little bit and here is the other one and you really, really cannot remove it. It's going to be very strong. So that's the way it looks from this angle as you can see. And it is the shower here. Thank you for watching this video.